Hello everyone, Ethersong here, and today I am back with another Blue Protocol video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to download and install the newly released Benchmark Character Creator software from the Japanese site. So let's get right into it. So this software allows you to run a benchmark test to see how well you'll be able to run the game, as well as try out the Character Creator. Here on their site, they have a link to go to uh, the benchmark software explanation page and jumping to that page we have an explanation of how to install and run the software now the problem with this is it's all in japanese so for people that don't know japanese it may be a little bit difficult to read so i'm going to be going through it in english and if you have any questions after the video let me know in the comments so the first thing is you're going to need to download the software there's a download link here and clicking that bring you to a download page you just click this button and the download will start. I'll put a link to this download uh, page in the description as well. So take a look at the description. You'll be able to jump right to this page. And all you have to do is click this button and it'll download the software. Once you get it downloaded, it is a zip file. So you'll need to extract it. And once it is extracted, you will have a setup.execute. This runs the installer. So just double click that and the installer will launch. Just keep clicking through next and you'll have it installed. Now you, you can click the button at the end allows you to launch it right away. Otherwise you can just click your blue protocol benchmark uh, installation <laughs> link and it'll launch the software as well. Now, there's a couple things to be aware of. It has some components that are required to be able to run the software. So if you try to click start on the software and it comes up in the air, it'll say you need to install some components. For example, the following components are required to run this program, Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime. Would you like to install them? So if it comes up with something like this, just install what it says you need. So that's good. And then after it is all installed, you'll be able to use it. So there's a couple things it can do. So let me jump to this window right here. So first up, I'll do an explanation of all the buttons here. Over here, there is a language option, but it only supports Japanese currently. So the software will all be in Japanese as well. So be aware of that. This button right here will bring you to their official site. This is license information. This exports a report. So I think maybe a report of the benchmark score. And there are settings for it. If you want to change the settings, there's a screenshot folder. And then we have the two main buttons here. This is the character creator, and this is the start button. So this starts the demo scene. There's also a loop playback button here. So this runs the demo scene, the benchmark demo scene without running the benchmark test. So it doesn't have the benchmark score appearing during the demo scene. So you can use that if you don't want that score appearing and you just want to look at the world of the game. So let's jump back to their site for a moment because there's a couple more things to look at here. So yeah, this is what happens when you run the benchmark. Uh, you start the benchmark scene. It'll have a score appear and it'll keep scoring your uh, performance. And at the end, it'll give you a final score. Now there's a various range for these final scores. So if you're above 10,000, that's the best you can get. So that's great. You'll be able to run the game with no problem. And then normal rating for the game. It says you'll be able to play it without really any issues. You just need to have your graphics settings adjusted accordingly. So that's around 6,000 to 7,000 about. And anything below that, you're going to have to start adjusting things. And if you're below 4,000 or so, you're going to have difficulties running the game. So be aware of that. As for the character creator, you have options to make a character. So they have some preset options and also various settings you can choose. And I'll be doing a more in-depth video of this character creator and uh, demo, uh, the benchmark demo scene later. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, you can be able to just click through things. It'll has lots of different parts. So you can choose the hairstyles, eyes, mouth, everything you would expect of a character creator. And also you have the ability to export it after, like I said. Once you made a character, it'll be in this character area here and you'll be able to make multiple characters. I think it was what, up to 24 or so. And once you made a character, you're also able to view it in a character viewer. And this will be another thing I'll cover in my character creation video. And then there's also the party viewer to view all the characters 
together in a party. So that is the general explanation of this benchmark software, how to download and install it. If you have more questions about it that you want to know, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.